up guys Megan Lynn here spiritual empress how is everybody happy Monday hope everybody is having a great second half of December I know I'm ready for it to be over just because people call me the Grinch I'm really not <clears throat> I just don't care for the holidays in general I don't like the pressure of it and my friends are so funny because they're like Megan you're you entertain constantly like even right now Scorpio is cooking dinner it's gonna be bomb he was supposed to cook last night and didn't so I did <laughs> but I'm always the house you guys like I'm always the house I talk to my subs and stuff like that um, definitely live like a gypsy lifestyle so like the holidays and that kind of just like pressure to do things I'm not a fan of and I think for the most part I'm grateful for everything that I have or don't have because I know that I still at the end of the day have more than somebody else so I know I don't normally smoke. I just figured, fuck it. Today, my roommate had cigarettes. So I was like, yeah, I'll have one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if you guys like holidays. I can say most of my Aquarians don't talk to their families. Well, let me tell you, the stress that that takes away from family obligations and stuff during the holidays is freaking amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love that I only have to worry about my daughter and then mostly my friends. So like if I have a roommate at the time, I'll make it special for them. Um, if, especially if they're not seeing their families due to COVID, a lot of people aren't traveling. So sorry, this is not a good angle. I just had to do it before the light got all the way over. So yeah, holidays are just kind of iffy. If you guys want to chime in on your favorite holidays, I really like Halloween, but I just like the vibe of it. I never really do anything for Halloween. And I like my birthday, which is not technically a holiday, but it's my favorite one is my birthday. <laughs> Because I just like the day to be all about me because I feel like I'm all about everybody else all the time. So when it's my birthday, that's why I make a big deal for Aquarius birthday. I find that we put a lot into other things. We don't always get it back. So like on my birthday, I'm like, please make a big freaking ish out of this. I, I want cake. I'm not going to eat the cake, but I have to have a cake. And I want you to make a big deal about me all day. So <laughs> that's my only like diva part of me. But yeah, I'm definitely the house anyway. I'm always entertaining. People are always just coming over or showing up. So my house is always like open. So <clears throat> all my aqua friends, that's basically what they do is they just, y'all learn how to create your own families with people that are supportive, that get you, or, um, you know, that just don't stress you out. So uh, I like the holidays for that. And I like rapping and I like eating. So I have to watch the eating thing because the holidays... My favorite snacks are always from Trader Joe's. I just spent way too much money there yesterday. <laughs> and I ate like all my snacks already. So I probably gained five pounds in like one day. <laughs> but um, anyway, oh no, did a card drop? Don't drop. Don't be dropping. So yeah, Scorpio is over still. Uh, he brought his dog. So now I have a house full. Of, I'm like, what is this? A freaking humane society? Like, I don't understand. Everybody just brings their stuff over and is like, Megan will watch him or. So I have blue over here now, <clears throat> which why people name, I guess blue works for a dog, <laughs> but I'm like, who, who names their dog a color? Or like, do you think you're a freaking Kardashian or do you think you're Beyonce? Like people don't just do that. It's a pet peeve of mine. Like, or when they give their dogs people names like Jeffrey or something like that. I'm like, that's not a dog's name. So <clears throat> anyway, you guys want to chime in on your favorite holidays. I don't care for them too much. Um, to be honest, I just, I don't care for them. I'm ready for them to be over again. I'm, they call me, um, or snow miser is what they call me, but it's because I'm grateful year round. I definitely live a gypsy life. I appreciate the uncertainty, especially with COVID. I got insanely kind of depressed and vitamin D deficient. So that didn't help. And, uh, I was over being at the house that I was at anyway, because we were, we were always home together because we couldn't go out. So, uh, I kind of like gypsy life. If I could live in a van, I probably would. <laughs> if I could just travel, I would. If I could backpack, I would. Um, but I, unfortunately, I'm stuck here in Phoenix. So thank you for all the support. The channel, I got some really nice feedback from you guys the last couple days. So I appreciate the love. Thank you. Uh, I love all you guys. Talking to you guys is great. I like the loyalty on the channel too. I did get like a hate... I, I don't get haters often, you guys. It's usually somebody who pops into the channel and they haven't watched enough content to see, like, who I am. So I know that I come off as a jackass or a hard ass. I'm really not. <laughs> but I do say a lot of jackassy things. So if you take that personal and I get off the channel, like, I don't care. And if you do leave nasty comments, just so you guys know, that whole Aquarius gives zero fucks thing is real. 
believe it. It's not a facade. I have a big heart, but I also don't give a fuck. So if you're going to leave mean comments, I'm leaving them up for all my subscribers to see it because, again, I don't care. So um, any personal opinions you have about uh, my appearance, the way I look, or the way I talk, I don't... I just don't care and go waste your time somewhere else or why don't you create a channel so that people can come on and rag on you for a little bit so I'm gonna do a mid-monthly tarot reading again I'm doing $20 tarot sorry the intro's long I just felt like rambling a little bit to uh I felt like doing a tarot just because I'm doing still doing the 30 minutes for $20 if you guys want readings of any kind those have gone really well this is again an Aquarius general that I'll be doing I'm not going to show the cards just because it's just faster that way. Again, I don't smoke. This is just a like, shh. <laughs> it's a secret, guys. I don't smoke. So uh, I'll do that mid-monthly. I don't know what you guys are interested in hearing about. Please drop comments. And let's get into it because I'm not going to, again, show the cards. I feel like we've developed some trust at this point. <laughs> uh, I don't pre-shuffle. I don't uh, have any idea what this is going to be for Aquarius this month. So again, general reading. I hope you guys are having a great holiday. Again, I'm glad for it to be over because then it's like literally exactly a month later is my daughter's birthday. A week and a half later is my birthday and I just get really over everything by the time we hit <clears throat> February. So let's do monthly for Aquarius. Wow, I've been getting these a lot for these, and I hope my cards don't blow away and the wind's not too loud for you guys, so. <clears throat> this is interesting. Uh, okay, we have the Ten of Swords here. Uh, totally believe it. I don't think it, can Aquarius just quit with the swords? Can everybody leave us the fuck alone? Like, <laughs> I feel like Ten of Swords is at least good because you're at the end of a cycle of being through the most also having a lot of stress but it means that you're at the end of it you're ready to go sorry thanks jets thank you uh, i feel like we're all kind of a ten of swords energy anyway for the most part uh but moving forward it's really cool you have the uh the magician so it seems to do with something <clears throat> you have a lot of manifestation property especially when you're at the end of a cycle because mostly when you're at the end of a cycle you actually have a chance to think about things that that you'd actually want want in your life so be careful with that ten of swords energy kind of coming out of that that you guys are really really i always tell aquarius this anyway be very cognizant of your thoughts and your feelings and what you're putting out there because you definitely have an opportunity to manifest um it looks like <clears throat> you guys were either moving away from something or you left something so whether that is a job uh you're considering i've had a lot of aquariuses reach out to me and they're finally realizing they're calling a little bit more and they're walking away from old things old things that bring you those fucking swords again i know it said that in my previous reading but i'm still getting it but it looks like you guys are moving away uh from a stagnant situation that you were in that moving away is part of that manifestation property so what i find is a lot of people know the own answers to their questions when they're talking to me because y'all made the decision y'all already made the decision and then you you call me or you email me and it's like you knew in your heart of hearts that this was the right thing to do so it looks like you're moving away from something it could have also been a relationship here because i do have the two of cups here so it looks like you're moving to something one more emotionally fulfilling also you may partner up or you have partnered up with somebody um and you had kind of like a, a soulmate kind of connection <clears throat> with the nine of swords though there could have been either it was a soulmate connection with with a job or with a person uh it looks like you guys had a little bit of problems with actually like cultivating that you had a nine of swords kind of thing kind of happened where things really didn't go the way that you planned um or again it was a false start with an actual person or with a job before <clears throat> that that energy that two cups energy is still there um <clears throat> but it looks like there's a little bit of backstabbing behavior with all those swords there um it looks like you also went went through a lot um in this past situation that was either uh, emotionally draining um here i see kind of financially could have possibly been financially draining too you have the three of pentacles here uh so it looks like you're kind of starting to rebuild here uh rebuilding financially uh, i feel like most aquariuses have problems with money anyway um but it looks like you're gonna start to kind of rebuild um it, a lot of it has to do with rebuilding with new ideas new action driven things so to, in taking that action you're gonna start rebuilding 
Uh, you could have also not been compensated. Uh, compensated efficiently in a situation. What's that? And this has a lot to do with patience. So, y'all, if you guys are trying to rebuild something that you moved away from and it drained you in some way, uh, it will it will come back around with that manifestation property. And it has a lot to do with being patient. So, maybe you guys have been patient and you're a patient in a past situation. Uh, just be patient. That stuff's coming back to you. And, again, it has to do with this new direct of action here. Um, let me see. <clears throat> Yeah, so that's just going to show a little bit of juggling. You guys may have to juggle either multiple jobs. If you guys are going for a new idea, you see a lot of Aquarius is really creative, have a lot of really good business ideas. It looks like you might have to juggle a little bit there. So a lot of people who start side businesses also have to work that nine to five job. It seems like you guys finally know what it is that you want to do. So in order to get you to that place where you can start to either build on that idea, you're going to have to juggle a little bit, which... Most people have to do that in all aspects of life. <clears throat> kind of have to juggle till you get to that point. Uh, but you do have the Eight of Pentacles here, which is going to show a lot of abundance moving forward. So it will be coming back to you guys. I wouldn't worry about that. What does abundance have to do with? And then you have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So this has a lot. And again, this is like, this is inner knowledge, inner wisdom. Uh, there's like a falcon in here and his, his eyes are blindfolded. So just so you guys know, um, falcons can run on intuition i always take them as very very spiritual um they also kind of head you in, in the right direction but they have a lot to do with wisdom so it's an inner knowing and inner, inner wisdom that's going to bring you that abundance that you want and again it looks like you're moving from a situation with the seven of wands where you felt very defensive uh maybe you're constantly in a work situation that people y'all with aquarius i'm going to tell you pe jealousy is freaking real uh, jealousy freaks me out I had to learn about jealousy because I didn't understand why somebody would be jealous of somebody else's talents. Uh, I would always partner up with those people because if you have somebody that's better at something than you, take that as an opportunity to learn from that person. Don't take it as, a, oh, well, she's prettier than me and she's more successful than me and she gets all the accolades. I always uh, say to keep those people really close to you. Uh, not necessarily if you don't like them, but even people that you don't like from or lessons that you can learn from. So it looks like you're moving past some situation. <clears throat> uh, you have the lover's card here. You're moving past some sort of situation. It looks like a new person's coming in. So with the lovers, that's Gemini's card. Could be another air sign, Gemini coming in. Uh, but it looks like you're one, you're moving something more fulfilling. It could also be a new person. If it's coming, if this is coming from a relationship reading for you guys, it looks like you have somebody else coming in, uh, because either you guys slept on a situation or they slept on a situation. If this was a past relationship and it looks like you had a lot of things kind of squandered from you, uh, with that seven of swords there. So, uh, the seven of swords is, is very... And I always say this too, this has to do with relationships. Stop blowing around. This has to do with relationships and um, either somebody slept on you, you slept on them, they were emotionally available and it's a just very taking energy. So again, if it's, if it's a relationship, maybe you gave more than you got, that's typical. Um, also in work too, it looks like you gave more than you got. And I have to tell people this all the time. That lie in society that if you work harder, you'll get recognized for it and you'll move up is not freaking true, okay? Like, whoa, that sucks. Lovers flew away. <laughs> uh, it's not necessarily true. I don't believe that at all. And I don't believe that that works for Aquarius. Uh, you guys have kind of learned that with the Five of Cups here. You've kind of seen Carnage. Again, this, this comes from the other reading I did in November. But it looks like you moved away from that situation pretty quick because you saw stuff uh, in a different light than you did before. And then you have opportunity here. So you have the uh, Ace of Swords. Again, this is a directive decision you guys are making to move forward with something new. Uh, Swords is very, very quick. <clears throat> because you are in a very precarious situation. Uh, and sometimes, too, you could feel uneasy. You could feel like you have to be very precarious about your next moves. Things like that. Um, it looks like moving forward, that's what you'll be doing. And you'll be sending out, so you'll be waiting for those ships to come in. You guys, um, I would say with the two of wands, send out messages. A lot of this has to do, our, our natural talent is speaking. So if you guys are great at networking, great at socializing, things like that, I would start sending the word out that you're either looking for this new opportunity or that you're 
open yourself to other opportunities uh, for either love or for uh, a job. Yeah, and you have the King of Cups here. So something's going to come in that's going to be really fulfilling. Uh, you also may have another water sign come in. So I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with a past love or a past water sign, anything like that. It looks like either they'll come back to you or you're going to kind of reflect that energy. And that's going to help create that Four of Wands, uh, Four of Wands uh, building, building a platform. So uh, if it was a relationship, uh, it's this... This new situation is something you'll definitely be able to build on. So if it's with a new person, uh, and then you also have seven of pentacles. So this other person is going to want, this is something that's going to be fruitful once you invest. So <clears throat> yeah, moving forward, everything looks great. Queen of wands. So you got all the wands. <laughs> you got queen of wands, king of cups, queen of wands, very, very nurturing. She's also very savvy and, and wands have a lot to do with communication. So you could take, I take wands as air signs. Uh, that could be you. And I feel like this king of cups is probably somebody else, but it could be your overall energy that will bring you into that queen of wands. And it'll bring you into a lot of different options. So moving forward for the second half of December, um, I would say, y'all, fucking go for it. <laughs> okay? I, I feel like they say uh, youth is waste on the young. Uh, definitely don't do it. Because this is going to bring you options. And, and staying stagnant... <clears throat> and bored and in a nine to five when you're not being emotionally fulfilled is uh, is not doing it for you. That's keeping that manifestation energy stagnant as well. A lot of people are just really scared and that's because of honestly society's bullshit is they tell you like this is what you need. You need a nine to five. You need this, that or the other. I would say freaking go for it. So overall that looks really good. Sorry I ramble. That's one of my pet peeves too. I don't like when people have too many like intros on their channels. Like, I've been watching Karen's in the Wild. Go go subscribe to that channel. It's just about the, okay, Karen's, right? So they record all these crazy people. But their intro, like, the videos are, when you're recording a Karen, okay, you got to be kind of sneaky when you do it. So all the videos are typically around, like, four minutes long. And then every four minutes, because I binge watch channels. I don't know if you guys do. Once I like it, I love it. So I'll keep watching them all. And, uh... Every single freaking three and four minutes, whatever, they have this intro and it's so freaking annoying because it's a loud intro and I don't like being noisy in the house, especially if my, my roommate hasn't been feeling good. But overall, I would take that new opportunity, take that chance. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm, and yeah, you have the Ace of Wands here, which is new ideas. Um, definitely feel, it's take that chance because you don't know if you never take it. And there actually is a lot of freedom and lack of control. So I, I'm i learning right now. I always had stability issues. Uh, that's just how my design is. And I always hated it because I never felt safe. And that's where a lot of my anxieties kind of stemmed from was instability. In childhood, I had a lot of instability. So uh, <laughs> once you learn that that's just your life, <clears throat> just freaking go with it. Like I... And don't, don't give a shit. Like, I don't give a shit anymore what happens. I, there's no, there's also no sense in worrying about things. You know, the only things you have to worry about are, are things you never tried or opportunities you never took. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll be recording. I had a couple ideas. I still do. <clears throat> Me and Scorpio wanted to do like a cooking thing. <clears throat> we wanted to do just like a cooking ramble kind of thing. We had this idea and, and we're all really funny. So <laughs> We might do something like that just for fun for the holidays. But again, y'all, please drop comments, likes, uh, share, subscribes. This channel is totally, for some reason, I'm getting more people in here, but it's turning into y'all are loyal as fuck, but it's really on you guys. If you guys want the channel to be big, I personally don't tell anybody I know about my channel what my channel is. I'll tell them that I have one, but I don't do that. I want the right people to come and it seems like you all are and it just grows a little bit slower. So it's kind of up to you. If you know people who would be into my weird, send them the channel. I'm trying to get bigger right now because I just want to do this full time. I'm, I'm over the, the nine to five at this point. And um, yeah, book readings if you want to, 20 bucks, 30 minutes, a lot of fun and quick too. It's not going to take up too much of your time. So thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I love you.